So today I'm going to be doing my March favorites and I know it's kind of late and I'm super sorry about that. But anyways, I just want to say I got a new camera so I hope the quality is much better for you guys and I think it is just going to be overall better and hopefully I will also get a um, new camera even better than this this was an old camera so it's just a temporary update and so hopefully i'll have a better update pretty soon anyways let's just jump right into the video okay so the first favorite i have is the makeup favorites so first i have this eos lip pump and then the next thing is another lip balm and it's just this burst bees tinted lip balm and it says it has pomegranate oil and it is really great it's super um soothing and nourishing and hydrating and that's what it says on the package and i think all of the birth Bee stuff is super great and it's all natural okay and so i the next one i have is a mascara by minerals they're such a great thing and it's the lash domination volumizing mascara and this is just a sample one i'd love to get the full one but it was just a little freebie at ulta and so and i didn't know about it before and now i do and it is amazing i love it so much okay and the last beauty product is this eyeliner or eye pencil and it's by the color workshop I just got it in a makeup set and it is just a nice brown color. Okay, now the next thing I have are books. And so I have four books and some of these I did not read in March or anything, but they're just amazing books and I love them so much. So I just thought I'd have to include them in here. So the first one is Jeremy Fink and the Meaning of Life. It's a great book. It's about this guy named Jeremy Fink and he receives a mysterious box on his 13th birthday and so him and his best friend Lizzie are trying to find the keys to the box to open it and see what's inside. It's a really great story. I don't think it's real and they have a movie about it. Um, I did watch the movie. I think I remember watching the movie, but I'm not sure, but it was a really great book, and I love it. Okay, so the next one is called Cross My Heart, and it is um this girl um, named Lucy um, is taking her summer um, vacation and she's going to the Catalina Islands and um she was going to go with her cousin but it was um but her cousin's visit was canceled and so she's really lonely on this trip and she makes a couple of friends and um kind of really has some trouble but then she finds a diary and it's really just a great book with her trying to getting through the whole diary and um it was and um she can look back at it with her friend and it's just a really great book i don't remember it that much without giving the actual thing away and then the next one is called A Dog's Way Home. And I started reading this book with my aunt, but she does not live with me. So it's kind of like she came over to a trip, and that's when we got this. And um, we were hoping to be able to do it on the phone or something. It didn't work out, so I only got like halfway through, and I don't even remember where I am. And so I think I'll just start over by myself. But it uh, says, miles, months, and mountains can, can't can possibly keep 11-year-old Abby and her Shetland sheepdog apart. And so, it's a really emotional book, I guess. 
and it's just this girl named Abby and her um, dog Tam are just each other's best friends and they have done everything together and then she loses this dog and this dog and goes through a lot to find it. Okay, and the last book is called Island of the Blue Dog of Blue Dolphins. This is my absolute all time favorite book. I love it so much and it earned this like gold thing. I'm not sure what it is, what it's for. But um it is so amazing, and it was a really emotional book. And one part of the book, I all, I, I did cry. And um, this girl named Corana is left behind on an island, and is also left with her brother. And um, year after year, she waits for the ships to come back, but it never does. Finally, she realizes she must make a fateful choice follow her people on her own or remain alone on the island for the rest of her life and so basically she makes a best friend on the on it which is this dog and she also meets a couple people and it's just a really nice book i love it so much. so now i just have like a random one which is this water bottle it's just, just like a clear water bottle and it's just really nice i like it and it's just kind of my go-to water bottle if i don't have just like a classic water bottle that's already full with water and then another random item is this phone case so it's just a silicone owl phone case and i love it a lot it just is my go-to phone case and it's really nice and i mean it doesn't protect that much but um it does protect a bit and takes away some of the impact when my phone falls, which it does quite a bit. And the next item is a clothing item. I only have one, so it's kind of just random. But it's these light, light, light wash distressed denim jeans. Anyways, but they just have some holes in them and they're just kind of like, like torn at the bottom and, you know, more holes. And they're just light whitewash denim jeans perfectly fine they're really comfy i like them okay and my last favorite is this candle it is another random one because i don't i only have one but it is just the vanilla amber candle by loom it's that nice 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 candle i like the outside i don't know if you can tell but it just has like little um hills i guess I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it smells so good, but it's more of a wintry smell, so I'll definitely have to get some spring and summer candles. I think I have one, but it's just like a little sample candle. But anyways, this is my go-to candle if I like my candles. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of already getting down there with it, but I don't like my candles a whole bunch. So, um, you know, it's not like totally gone. Anyways, guys, that was it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.